Hello everybody and welcome back to the first video of the day. <clears throat> Today I wanted to take you to a really nice uh, European country. It's not in the EU but nonetheless it's a very pleasant country. I've been in it many times. I'm talking about Switzerland. Yes, the land of cowbells and uh, very delicious chocolates, of um, very nice cheeses. The land that goes to the polls this Sunday. This is what they're going to vote on. Uh, on Sunday, Swiss voters are poised to approve what is being categorized as a burka ban, with supporters saying, uh, as you can tell, that uh, these symbols are uh, extremist and they must be, um, <clears throat> must be taken from the public square. So, so we're going to find out on Sunday what the story is. Supporters argue that in, Sw in Switzerland, the tradition is that you show your face apart from at the moment, for example, in the so-called, uh, in, in the, uh, when it comes to face masks in respect of the COVID emergency. But the Swiss government says this is a pointless uh, poll and it opposes it and believes that it could damage the Alpine nation's um, reputation. Uh, so that's what, that's what they say. If you read into it a little bit more, you'll discover that two Swiss cantons, uh, St. Gallen and Ticino, have already banned full face coverings in regional votes. But if this one goes through on Sunday, then that's it across all the other Swiss cantons. And again, to reiter reiterate the point of those behind this one, in Switzerland, our tradition is that you show your face. That is the sign of our basic freedoms. <clears throat> so that's what they're saying in Switzerland. So let's watch to see what happens on, on, Sunday, on Sunday in Switzerland. But you know, it's not just Switzerland where this is an issue. Let's consider Morocco. Now, Morocco is a 99% Muslim majority nation, and they've banned the burqa. And the reason, if you, if, you, if you read the reasoning behind it, they concluded that the full face covering constitutes a security threat, and therefore it is required that they can see the actual faces of people, and hence the reason to impose the ban on it. And a lot of people watching this may, I suppose, have two views on this. Number one, it certainly can't be seen as being, um, you know, uh, Islamophobic when a majority Muslim ma nation makes such a decision. And yet when a country like France does exactly the same, it gets castigated by the United Nations. And at the end of the day, when it comes to, you know, this issue, we really have to consider the different aspects of it. For example, here in the UK, I don't believe there's any political will whatsoever to follow France or potentially Switzerland or indeed Morocco and instigate such a, a ban in the public space. Is this right? Is it sensible to have a live and let live philosophy here in the UK, even when the wearing of such apparel is clearly not consistent with, I guess, British uh, tradition and British history, but nonetheless, is the laissez-faire approach the right one? Or should we emulate our, our friends across the channel and instigate such a ban? I think at the end of the day, the countries that do it say that they do it for security reasons, and security reasons are all about protecting the citizens that live in such countries, and I guess that's pretty important. So what do you think? Do you think we should emulate the uh, French, uh, Morocco, and potentially the Swiss, or should we live and let live? Let me, let me know, please, in the comments below, and I'll be back to speak with you later on during the day.